Hey, welcome to my channel. This time we made a small trade, my 3D printer against this Acer laptop. We only need to check if this works and if we can upgrade the RAMs, hard drive and CPU. So let's get started. Nice boots. Okay. Really nice. So let's start screwing this part. Ooh, yeah, the battery lasts. Okay. This time we are going to be a little bit more careful because last time you saw what happened. Now we're getting somewhere. One most important thing about taking a PC apart is that you don't care or something like I did last time. I'd like to say that this Acer laptop has really high build quality. Amazing. Now that changed the original CPU out Core i5 to Core i5 or 7. I think. This was sorry, this is i3, this is i5. This is from the last laptop that we killed. Really, whoever designed this board is genius. It's immensely easy to take apart and put it together. I love it. I just love it. Now let's upgrade the RAM modules. Drive upgrade, an SSD drive, <coughs> and now the big question. Oh, not yet. We can still power it on because we are still missing some pieces. Oh, we are missing a lot of pieces. Maybe it works. Maybe I can power it up. Uh, nope. I can't. I can't because the power button is here. Okay. Ooh. CPU works. Let's see i5 great ram upgrade uh, you can click flex backwards processor upgrade was a success uh, ram upgrade was a success and the uh, hard drive uh, upgrade was a success so let's screw everything down and have fun Interesting part is always at the end when I see if uh, I have screws up or missing. Now let's close it down and see if it still works. Like always.
cable connection. What did I miss? Oh, yeah. Okay. So let's download the official Windows 10 version uh, to an OSP drive and let's see if we can fix the uh, PC up with the new Windows. The main problem that I saw with my original USB drive was that uh, the D laptop doesn't support legacy mode so I hope this version of Windows will work on the new PC. So let's have a sneak peek if this drive works. original Windows 10 and it works like a charm. So my idea currently is that I'm running a test before I'll tweak the system and afterwards and I'll compare the results so you can see how much performance I gain by just tweaking the Windows system. Wow this was the fastest test <laughs> possible. But the score says 750, CPU 364, RAM 188, that's not going to change, CPU 115, that's going to change a lot, I think disk is 83. Okay, 28 seconds, wow, amazing. So, after validating my Windows updating uh, every driver I found and tweaking the system I got a performance increase of 8% around. The sad part is <coughs> that the missing uh, chip on my motherboard was uh, the NVIDIA uh, graphics processor unit that I hope to have, have. It should have been the NVIDIA M540 or so mobile chip but, seems that I don't have that, but, hey, better than nothing, okay.